Hello, my friends. Good evening and welcome to Nat 21 Adventures, your Dungeons and Dragons show, where uh, we, we're already started, so I'm taking that banner off. <laughs> uh, it is performed by players from the Renaissance Festival world. I am your friendly neighborhood Shakespeare, the voice of the gods. I am basically, for all intents and purposes, your Metatron. And uh, oh, there, there's my banner right there. I See, I'm your Metatron. And you, you can't disagree with it because it, because it's literally right there. So it is a wonderful time to be here. And I just like to remind everyone, if you are not already subscribed to the show on Twitch, you want to do so because on Twitch, you get all of the wonderful bonuses that you can do. You get loyalty points that you spend on the show. You give a hit, a miss, disadvantages, and even crits. And the longer you watch, the more points you can accrue. Subscribers get points faster. Don't lag behind everyone else on Facebook. Watch and subscribe on Twitch. Now, what's that you say? You uh, you don't want to uh, sit around and wait. You want immediate gratification, instant gratification. That's easy. That's what she said. And also easily doable because you're an American, presumably. Maybe you're in Europe. Doubtful because it's the middle of the night for you. But we want you to join the ranks of our Patreon saints. Yes, go to patreon.com slash nat21adventures and you can instantly throw down many bonuses. The entire assortment of bonuses. Once per game, you can give out a plus or a minus five to anyone for any reason. You can give someone disadvantage or advantage. You can give an auto hit or an auto failure. And most special of all, you can give these heroes a natural 21. A critical success! It doubles all damage and makes whatever they were doing wildly successful beyond the dreams of avarice. No take backs. And if you dare, you can give someone, and please let it be Paolo, a natural one, a critical failure. If you're making a save, you take double damage. You fail miserably, whatever it is that you were doing. Now, only one per episode, so use it wisely. Now, do you want to support the show in general? You can go to coffee.com dot nat 21 adventures. That's ko ficom slash nat 21 adventures to help keep this show rolling. I guess we're using dice. You roll, oh, you get it. You're a smart group of people. And uh, right now, since it is the holidays, you just want to throw extra money at our players and say, happy holidays. Go get yourself drunk. Or maybe buy groceries. I don't care. The fastest way to do that is to throw some money down at us, throw some wild magic at us by donating to the show at coffee.com slash nat21adventures. Now, uh, starting last month in November, we started adding in the Monster of the Month Club. All of our Patreons, starting at the $5 level, uh, get a monthly monster that the Dungeon Master has already heretofore assaulted our party with. Um, and if uh, you would like to throw even more money at the $10 level, you get the map of the month now and that's a pdf sent to you of a map that palo has used in one of these very gaming sessions now you'll be able to see where the extra rooms are that the party never made it to all the secret doors they should have taken and you can get that all through our patreon on patreon today now i also want you to join us on sunday night sunday night at 8 p.m for the haiku wrap-up with romulus romulus gets his very own show on sunday nights where he wraps everything up and also brings in some special guests and occasionally even advances the plot of the show. So now let's have enough chatter right here with just me and you. And, and, I, and I hope uh, that you are enjoying our little tete-a-tetes. But uh, it's not just my show. It's our show. And by our show, I mean it's his show because he's the one who technically pays us all. So guys, gals, and non-binary gingerbread pals, please bring in the bloke with the cloak. The good in the hood. The good in the hood. What is that? I don't know, but he is your dungeon master, my friend, and a certified badger, Palo Gorbanzo. Yay! Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Shakespeare. Glad good to see evening. you. I'm always thrilled to have such a literary genius as our voice of reason maybe <laughs> it's arguable but it certainly gives you a sous-son of je ne sais quoi we oui. i'm pretty <laughs> sure i understood most of that well good <laughs> evening everyone we have a great show uh for you tonight we have so many things coming down to the wire uh this is nearing the end of our season for the year we're going to start back up early, well, at the end of January, but we have a ton of things we are working on right this moment that we are going to be producing all through January coming out. So we have a ton of shows, 
ton of things are coming out that are going to be great and a lot of fun looking at new games, new adventures, and all sorts of stuff coming to you in January. Uh, and then we're going to ramp this thing up end of January. So we're taking a little break for the holidays uh, as far as the live shows go soon. But we have this adventure to finish up. We got to wrap it up. And it's it's nearing it's nearing that cold time of the year, the solstice, Tiamas, Thormus, solstice. I think I said solstice already. You said solstice already. Saturnalia. All of those year-end festivities that involve a lot of monsters. We shall have our airings of grievances and show our feats of strength and <laughs> sing our sacred songs round about the Festivus pole. Mine's carved out of wood, but, you know. Nice. I like it. I like Thanks. it. That's really good. <laughs> See, I like that you I like that you keep it classy and old fashioned. You're not going with an aluminium pole. You're going with a natural wooden festivist pole. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, a solomaic columns and everything, like the little squirrely pattern. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, Pat, what, what what say you? What say you if uh I bring in Let's bring in the team. Players. Yeah. All right. Friends, guys, gals, and non-binary gingerbread pals, you know her as the leader of our mighty group. She is the one who is the most responsible of all. She is the one who is basically everybody's adopted mother and or older sister and or surprising sometimes Saturday night lover. I give you Adamo Ignis as Iola on Dragonborn! Yes! Hello, yes! good evening, everyone. How good are you? Here. How are oh, you, Oh, wonderful, Iola? as always, ready to tell the group about the error of their morals and get this <laughs> thing going. Oh, that, that's, a good, that's a good call. I like it. All right. Well, now let us bring in your bestie. The bestie with the... Bestie? Bestie with the festie. Does she have a bestie? My festy maybe bestie? Maybe, maybe she's wearing a vestie. And she's a bestie. Yes, and she's a bestie. And <laughs> bestie, you know, clownish, 12th night. You know what? Who cares? Kazoo! Woo! Hey, guys. Hey, all right, so I've got this theory. I would like to have evil or not a Ooh. talk show debate hosted on our patreon page I love it. or twitch or however we want to do it because yes, there yes. have been some serious discussions about whether our actions are good or bad or somewhere in between you and i am epic. hashtag not evil hashtag not evil are you you really you're going with that right now you're you're making that uh that uh that saying right now that's Look, what you're saying just because i'm not evil doesn't mean i'm good <laughs> you might be bad but you're awfully good at it <laughs> oh goodness it feels good oh and now dear friends kind friends and companions please welcome our mermaid the one who sings the siren songs into the ear of the lonely and even not so lonely sailor or landlocked individuals i give you our eldritch knight echo I don't know. I think these things are overrated. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> That's a really nice dingle hopper you've got there. I thought so too, but I've been, I, I thought that dingle just... hopper was for the butt. Whoa! It's so you know pointy. What? Come say, come so. <laughs> the like butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Oh. It's just more polite to call it a dingle oh. hopper. Oh, Especially yeah. if you... no, that works. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Look at all the time. Look at his <laughs> like, knowing thing. I... Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gnomes no stuff. Gnomes no, no one, stuff. No one yeah. saw anything. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> no one saw put anything. This over here now. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody. Uh, Hi. How you doing? I'm great. My hair's shiny. Ooh, than yeah. it was now. Very nice. And one of us has an echo on, so let's uh, <laughs> let's turn on. Is it let's me? turn on. Maybe let's make sure all of us are on echo cancellation. That's a thing that we need to uh, that we need to check on. <laughs> Sanitize all dingle hoppers, says Alex <laughs> Stephen Ake. Okay. Well said. And now, finally, dear friends and companions, please welcome our companion, 
who was missing in action last week to go off and do something bravely, suicidally heroic. We give you Eirik and Farfig Newton! Oh, I miss you, my cool friends. I miss you so much. What did you guys do? I built a church, we saved some orphans, and we rescued a kitten from a tree. Me and Melvin, we had a great time spreading goodness around the place. Oh, wow, look at you. Really wow. 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 Thank you. Yeah, totally. So true. You got so much done in such a short amount of time. I don't know what that's like. It was amazing. <laughs> I, I, we... There was we just we just did it. We saw we saw goodness that needed to be done, and we did it. I'm sure that's just like you guys last week. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, that is what we saw things that needed to be done, and we did them. Yes, Proud things that needed to be done were done. And I miss but, you. I miss you most of all, Echo. I miss Aww. you too, Eric. I she really, really did. I feel really I awkward I'm, being right I'm in the middle. I'm worried, but I know oh. that I know that you're good. I know you got mm -hmm. yourself, but you know it's I. I like fighting next to you, man. You know what I mean. <laughs> but, now, but now, friends, let us raise our glasses high and give a toast to our Patreon saints. Yeah, Hail yeah. to our Patreon saints. Clink. Yeah. Not awkward. As always, a big shout out to the Reverend Tommy, uh, one of our lead Patreons and um, behind the scenes guru for his diligent work on our Twitch channel. So much work goes into the behind the scenes to make this look like a mildly professional show so huzzah to reverend tommy as well mm. huzzah. Huzzah. May, the, may the saints preserve all of our players to throw down those bonuses and all of the negatives onto paolo himself personally ah. just, just, but now paolo i think it's i think it's time i think it's time paolo oh, for us yeah. yes for us to roll that beautiful bean footage oh yeah Oh yeah, we're ready to roll. Woo. And there we are. My friends, last week, our epic adventure as the quest friends left Eirik and his new buddy, Melvin. I love him. Uh, off in a mine somewhere to go start off adventuring. They managed to get to short pass slash round pass, depending on where you're from. <laughs> they got the coffins from Sal Gambolini. They loaded up the carpet full ride of, uh, ooh, there you go, and managed to get up in the air towards Magecroft to end this adventure. They got to the air, the, oh yeah, we skipped over the, the very short fight between several ruffians in the bar who were waiting for them to show up. That oh. fight lasted about four seconds and boom, they was gone. Short round pass. Yes. It just depends on where you're from. If you're anyway, don't you're gonna be distracted. They, they took their leader of that gang and destroyed him physically and mentally. I'm just going to say that. Just That's the short answer there. They got some information out of them. They got in the air. They headed toward Magecroft. And then before they got there, they were jumped by six crow-riding goblins. These gigantic crows, humongous rings, wingspans, and made absolutely short work out of them. Uh, I believe Augustus shot first uh, yet again. Now... And but the final blow was struck by Echo, who Nat 21'd a amazing shot with her thrown trident oh. through the guy. Oh, it was a hard I I was here. And I wish I could have been with you. So gross. It was a beautiful an epic battle. So gross. And it was glorious. And as he mm -hmm. fell down into the waters way, way below, because you guys are pretty far up in the air, the other Crow Riders peeled off, not wanting to mess with you guys again, ever. And 
At that moment, as Echo stood there, the moon shining behind her, holding, getting back her oh, item as the, you know, because that's the Eldritch Knight ability. It just comes right back to her hand. It's called weapon bond. Yeah. Bond. And, <laughs> there, and then we ended the game on that note. And we come back up. Well, Augustus, realizing that there is no more danger to be had here, says, and, and this crow flying just below the carpet with no rider on it anymore, not really knowing what to do, Augustus stands up, says, I must be in search for my love, <laughs> leaps off the side of the carpet onto the crow, and with his amazing animal handling skills on an actual animal this time, because last time he used animal handling to drive a carpet. So this time he actually used it on an animal and the great debate. Ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Who's that guy. I love that guy. You <laughs> would love that guy. Oh, Him and I should run a lap. I reckon you guys would have got along. Do well. I have time to uh to just to just goose him real quick before he leaves? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Do I need What's a roll for that? <laughs> <laughs> I want a goosing roll. That's great. <laughs> First roll of the yes. night. Let's do it. <laughs> roll for butt touching. Is that dexterity? What is that? I rolled to touch his butt. I want oh, yeah, as like... well. <laughs> in that You're not even there. Right? I got away. Good game. Good game last time, two buddy. Two butts passing in the night. Ah, <laughs> I only got two. Touch them all. <laughs> Is that dexterity? Uh, are you just physically hitting them? Then it's a yeah, it's a to hit. Although I guess it's finesse, so I will give it as a dexterity roll. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Unless you're just going for a smack. I mean, if you're going for that strength, if you're going for like the ding, the right timed goose, that's dexterity. That's finesse. Okay, I got a fourteen. <laughs> These fingers are a finesse weapon. <laughs> What if I got he wants to get really hard? Right. <laughs> you give him a good goose as he leaps off the side of the carpet, landing. Uh -oh! <laughs> did I miss? I'm I'm sure that means he'll be back. <laughs> did I did I miss? I got a four altogether. <laughs> now I you're not even there. But oh, I'm not there? I thought I was. Sorry. No, not yet. My bad. Shortly after the giant crow flies away. With Augustus, you can hear him yelling in the as he flies off. Aha! Ah ho! Ah! And ah -ha. the erratic <laughs> flyings of a newly controlled giant crow. But another giant large animal starts flying your way with a little glowing light on its head. And it, it says in little tiny glowing letters, Uberhawk. Huh. And, <laughs> and the nose of the uberhawk glows red, like a shiny reindeer nose. Oh, crap, no. Just in time for the December ween. But, but who's on its back? But Eirik <laughs> and Melvin. <laughs> And, no, the, and a rider and the and, the, and, the, and the Uber Hawk rider or driver, I guess. Hey, go oh. friends! Who is making oh. very uncomfortable conversation. So now this strangely, this this Uber Hawk driver actually looks very similar to Eirik. And uh turns out he's actually a, a sourceman as well. Sourceman. Um, yep, he's a source. So many great conversations. Oh yes, and as a matter of fact, Eirik, I you you're like you really like him. You feel like really like you bought like you both are bros. Yeah, I'll uh, goose him. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, 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 Fifteen. Ha ha. Good Ha ha. Um. So he s flies up beside you and maintains pace. Uh, <laughs> He's like, uh, these are friends. These are our girlfriends. friends. Uh -huh. What's my what's my source friend's name? Uh, is it his Ulf? name is is his name is Tor. Tor, Tor. These are my girlfriends. friends. This is Kazoo. A oh, woman no. Tor. She could write an epic song about you that would make you weep in the halls of Valhalla. And, and 
Actually, everybody give me a wisdom check. Can I finish introducing my friends while they roll? Yeah. This is our leader, Ayala, our dragonborn. Not sure what she does as a profession, but she's pretty awesome. Mm. Adventure with fire. you. That's my whole life. She can breathe fire, which is amazing. And this, of course, is Echo, who I told you so much about. My, oh, boy, yes. my best boon quest companion. This is a pleasure to meet you all. Remember, Uberhog goes everywhere. We're everywhere you want to be, especially if your name is Eirik. That's right, Northman. And he gives you a fist bump. Ha <laughs> ha. So. You go everywhere. Do you yeah, want to come well, with know. us to Magecroft? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to drop Melvin here off right now. <gasps> Melvin, I love how alive you're looking right now. Oh, my God. So Melvin's hanging on tight on the back, and he's like, he he's kind of wild eyed. He's he's ready, but he's totally scared. Shit, but adventure. he's like, I'm gonna do it. It's like I'm it's just like, jazzed to be on the show, man. <laughs> right? And uh, and Irig, this guy Tor has been having an amazing conversation with Melvin as well. Yes, uh, about how all the places to go in Magecroft, and he's been telling him all the cool spots. And nice. Melvin's like, yeah, and, and I'm gonna be an adventurer and yes, you are, Melvin. I have this, I have this umberhawk mandible. It's so cool. And uh it's gonna be a nice uh, he's like, Well, this is your stop. <laughs> to, I'm to gonna you, miss I you, really Melvin. I will see you again, if not before then, in the halls of Valhalla. <laughs> I'm gonna hug him and then I'm gonna goose him. <laughs> There's a lot of gooses going on right I got This is our thing today, huh? You, you got him. He's coming. The goose is getting fat. It's time to put a hand in the old man's Ooh, backside. Okay. Fortunately, he made his save, did not fall off, and to his death. Sweet. <laughs> I thought a hollow would have been sooner than we thought. <laughs> I'm glad oh, this man. is the thing. I'm glad we goose now. I am as well. I feel, I feel it. You started it too? Because I started, we started goosing on the way up here, and it's it's so it feels so connected. we our brains are just on the same wavelength, man. We're like the same person. Do all of you I see know. two people? Do all of you see two? Are there two of us talking right now? Am I talking to anyone else? You see yes. a folk? Yes. Right. Ah, good. Yes, it is the untitled. <laughs> Except we have a title, and that title is Not Twenty One Adventures. Yes. <laughs> the untitled uh, goose game. Nice. Oh, I have uh, just a quick question, and I know it's it's like don't look at the plot too carefully, but how did he find us so easily? I don't know. <laughs> it's Who made your saves. You know, Ooh, amazing. It what, probably has something to do with that crazy uh, hammer he's talking to all 17. the time. Okay. Ayala, what was your wisdom save? Uh, 11. Save? Okay. You just said roll for wisdom. Oh, no. Yes. Echo, what? what? Hmm. Oh, Me right. Um, no, actually, I have an advantage. So wisdom, I, right? I got four. Oh, man. Uh, Echo, you, you're you honestly like, this This Uberhawk driver is so smoking hot and obviously just yeah. amazing y'all you're like he seems pretty cool like yeah and kazoo you you can form any opinion you'd like because <laughs> you made your save uh but uh he kind of like flexes his arm as he like pulls the reins of his uber hawk and and you're like whoa um so Are you I, trying a little too hard, says Kazu out loud. <laughs> He's like, Sit Are down sure there. You, I'm not even trying at all. Ha, that's the Are best part. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? I'll meet you in Magecroft, I'm sure. Oh, we'll see you there. All right. Uh, so you leap What's off. What's your name, the... Tor? Tor. 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 All right, bye, Tor. Get out of here. <laughs> so, Eric, you leap off the, the hawk. Onto the carpet. I'll just switch out this uh, that guy. I learned that guy. That's right. He's, uh, sorry. I learned Uber that hot. like superhero pose um, on the carpet. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. That was I, fancy. I love a good yeah. I have missed you, ladies, so much. <laughs> I really Aww. have. Aww. We miss you. Yeah. You and as Eric is facing all of you, <laughs> saying this, and you're all, you're all as the hawk speeds up right behind him and then turns into a bolt of lightning 
and is gone. And Idrick yeah. didn't see it at all. That was cool. cool. I can who smell was, the ozone. Who is that guy? Echo. That's Thor. He's amazing. He's the best Uberhawk driver I've ever had. He had His name stuff. is Thor? Thor. Oh, Tor. Tor. That's still a really cool name. Everything about him is cool. I think he was really cool. Yeah, which is really, if you think about it, Tor is a great name for a guy who takes you places. Do you uh, think he was divine? What's what? That? Do you think he might have been divine? I Can I roll any kind of... Um, Arcana? Yeah, something like that. I just, I just thought he was divine. I think you're all divine. And I thought the Tor was divine in the same way. Yeah. And Melvin, Melvin is on it, by the way. Melvin is ready to go. And Kazoo, what did you roll? Here's what you do kind of go, hmm, I wonder. Mm. See, sometimes, sometimes you don't really pronounce the H in words. And sometimes it's T-H-O-R. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't really pronounce the H. The T and the H together doesn't actually make a th sound. Sometimes, so, sometimes it could be spelled Thor, but I have no idea what you're saying. Pronounced Tor. Thor was great. That guy was awesome. We're gonna have a you're drink like, with him, hmm. and we'll talk about Thor and Valhalla. It'll be amazing. <laughs> right on. Yeah. <laughs> I love is him. not so bright that I run with. Uh, right. So you're still flying along with, I believe, uh, is it uh, Echo is, is, is manning this thing? And hey. off in the distance, there it is. It's Magecroft. Magecroft. Beautiful. It's, the buildings are getting bigger. You can now start to make out individual buildings. It's, I think he was divine. That might have been Thor. Just keep that between you. Hold on a minute. Thor, I'm taking Thor. in this beautiful scenery. He's lovely. He's lovely. He's very pretty. <laughs> and then a fog rolls in. Stay and and these beautiful lights that you see of the city just disappear. And suddenly you really can't see anything <laughs> at all. And remember it is winter. And you are I don't know. Cold. A little high up in the air. And you you feel frost. And, and then you see the snow as if you've just entered a gigantic pillow full of snow. No. <laughs> um, Echo, you're driving. What direction do you feel like going? <laughs> um, under? Under? How far under? Uh, okay, so how big is the pillow full of snow? Well, you're in it, so you have no idea how big it is. Oh, got it. Um, you can literally, in, in less than 30 seconds, suddenly you cannot see a foot in front of you. Okay, so I want to just drop 30 feet, but still going in the same direction that we're going, but like down like 30 feet. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna like fire breathe ahead of us to try to clear some of that out. Hmm. That's pretty good. Like uh, it, it melts the snow for a second, but the clouds around you pretty much it, it's, yeah. And then Echo dives down. Uh, give me a alright, so if it's not animal handling, what would this roll be? <laughs> um, <wait>. Right? <laughs> Ride? Are you riding? Uh, all right. Use your drive um, skill. What about <laughs> nice athletics? <laughs> athletics or acrobatics? Uh, eh, I guess it's just a dexterity roll. Hmm. Just dexterity? <laughs> yeah. You sure it's not acrobatics? Nerp. <laughs> Go down and turn on your headlights. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, jeez. I got a five. Oh, gosh. Uh, all right. You are, you're headed exactly where you think you're headed. That's not a good roll. Nope. I know. All right. 
red dye. You're not living up to the standard you set <laughs> was, last week. You're doing so well. Um, <laughs> the snow is thick and forming ice all over the edge of the carpet. It's actually like rolling up the carpet, like, uh, oh. it's like freezing it. Echo, your hands are like, ah, so cold. More Maybe fire? Land. Take shelter, build a fire. More fire. And uh, yeah, so bodies and, uh... you don't know how far off the ground you are. You're, you thought you were still a good couple hundred feet. Um, Can I use echolocation to find out how high <laughs> off the ground we are? <laughs> As a mermaid, that makes a lot of sense, though. Like sonar. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what, what sort of <laughs> what sort of skill would that be? Um, yeah. let me see if it's if there's survival? anything about it. I'm survival? gonna give you a, a survival check. I'm gonna let you survival. Use your lovely voice. <laughs> I love my voice. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's a twenty. Woo! Right. Yay! Well, uh, you're extremely surprised because way up in the air, like you're you're easily two hundred feet up in the air. You're pretty sure, uh, but you're also pretty sure that that is a moop right in front of you. And whoa, what? <laughs> you're like. A moop in the air? Oh, yeah. Or on a mountain? Or on or... a mountain. Who put this moop here up in this cloud bank? Oh, no, wait. <laughs> it's not a cloud bank at all, is it? It's a mountain. Got it. Somebody's should... thinking in this party. We should find <laughs> shelter. Maybe make a fire. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if we find uh, we could, if we could find a cave or something, or or we could check shelter in a moop. <laughs> Probably warm. <laughs> Very warm. They're like Burrow, mobile right? sleeping bags. <clears throat> I mean, we I do thought have they smelled the, bad on the outside. <laughs> we do have the moop boots and the moop necklace. Sky moops. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, you slam directly into a moop. Um, you're like, oh god! Uh, actually, do give me a, a drive skill on that one. Your dexterity roll. Ten. Oh god, uh, that's not the best. Uh, you do not stop entirely. Fortunately, moops are very soft, uh, but uh, you just roll right into him. The coffins kind of tumble. Um, it's uh, it's a mess, uh, but fortunately, the snow is deep, and so are the moops, and uh, you, you don't take any damage from that at all. But you do splatter all over the place like a toboggan gone awry. Um, we could theoretically ride the coffins down the snowy banks. <clears throat> Let's scoop the bodies back in them first. Oh, uh, they fortunately did not come out. Actually, they okay nailed shut down. Yeah. So yeah, how, how steep is this mountain side that we have careened into? Well, weirdly, oh balls! I don't know. Weirdly, oh. Oh. oh, that's just another move. That's just new. Yeah. Uh, weirdly, the the snow it seems like snow, but it also like gives a lot. Uh, so it it's you're like you're going through at least two feet of snow each step. And then it just kind of continues to like fluff down uh, every time you step oh, around. Oh, no. oh, I've heard tales of this. Mm. We must be cautious. There could be a giant. I believe we are on a cloud. Mm. We are. We are they are sky moops. Be cautious. <clears throat> it is a sky move. Those Patreons are smart. How, how yeah. does one become on a cloud? Well, you fly into it with magic carpet, apparently. Okay, I know how we got here, but yeah. how are we just fucking on it? Well, it's the tears of an ancient, <laughs> ancient one of the giants. Echo, um, you start to sink. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, 
Hey, you know what though, Echo? I, I just think I that's the way it is. Anymore. How <laughs> this works at all? I don't care. La 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 la. I think, no, there no, might no, be. No, can no. I grab her? Sure. I'm gonna try to find the solid parts. As, I, as I recall from this thing I'm making up in my brain right now, <laughs> that the edges of a cloud island on which sometimes the frost giants will build their castles are softer, but they get more solid as you go towards their center mass. So I'm gonna- That sounds 100% reasonable to me. I Thank believe you. you. I'm right. very, I am smart. <laughs> Echo, you only sink a little bit through the, uh, into the cloud, so as you take each step, like um, la la la, thinking about other stuff, la la la, what is baseball? I love it. Does Ayala have the moop necklace? Uh, yeah, I believe she does. Oh, Who has the I, boots? Because Ayala, you took them off. Right? I did not keep them on because I right. wanted to give them to their proper owner. So they're probably... Yeah. Who, so who I'll has them. them? I'll wear them now. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, <coughs> I'm going to get out the uh, Colt 45s I have in case we run into Lando Calrissian. <laughs> uh, Leftovers from me and Melvin. Oh, my. Yeah. Cloud <laughs> City, get it? Never mind. You got Lando your 40s. <laughs> you got a couple of 40s. <laughs> I've been to the Lando Capes up here. So the, the snow drifts away from you in an ever increasingly large circle and you start to be able to see that there is indeed some kind of hill snow covered cloud hill and at the top it's it's <clears throat> i'm not gonna say ilsa's castle but uh you know, it's not kind gonna of an icy like, castle like an icy kind of you know place but uh, it does seem to be made of clouds and ice. And there is a lady wearing yellow um, who is, seems to be, I'm going to say, if you didn't know any better, she is dressed like someone who is trying to dress like a princess. I can get that. Guys, right. this is awesome. This is this is legend come to life right now. I am so excited about this. Ayala, I want to go on the record here as saying this is a focus distraction, but I'm a hundred percent here for it. I mean, I guess it's all right because they said that the time was already stopped for the whole getting the bodies back, so we're not losing any more money, right? So. I, we, I mean, we can't go out in the snow. We kind of have to stay here and explore the situation. And meet the princess. Thank you. That's just thank good you. logic, really. No, thank you. Yeah. Needed that. So, Irik, you've been pretty on target about everything so far. I know. When does this happen? <laughs> Who do you think this princess is? I, um, she might be a Valkyrie. Let's go. That would be here. awesome. Let's go meet her. Oh my God, do you think she is? I don't know. Oh That's the first thing I thought um, of. Can I check I to see if everything um, you say for illusions? Oh Let's go. I want to go meet her. Kind of Here we go. Here we go. Uh, yes. How? What do you have to check for illusions? <clears throat> I attempt to disbelieve. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> As an illusionist. It. You, uh, it doesn't actually work to just stand around going, I don't believe it. No, but as an illusionist, how do you, how do you check to see... Because gnomes um, are natural illusionists. I mean, you can try to disbelieve and then <clears throat> do an action that would be counter to its actual reality. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, it looks like... Let's see. Oh, uh, nope. That's if you're casting the thing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I guess we would have to make a saving throw. And if we didn't make the saving throw, then that illusion worked. So I that's not a, a thing. I had a friend from the South who had a dog. And I was there the first time the dog saw snow. And I feel exactly the same way right now. So Aww. I'm going to be charging up there very soon if anyone wants to stop me. But I am like, oh. that's precious. Nope. I'm like, go go Holy cow. Ice castles in the sky. Totally the down with ever. 
Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little reserved because I just met Thor. I'm sorry, Thor. I wish he had come with us. Me too. All right. I mean, he said he'd see us there, right? So we'll see him soon. In Maidcroft. Yeah. Right? Right? We can believe things <laughs> hot guys tell us when we meet them randomly in the air. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> I want to go. I want to go. Can we go meet her? Let's go meet her. Uh, I guess yeah. we are. You're just going to run in there and... Well, it's up to Ayala. She's in charge. Irik, why don't you call out to her first and see if Hello! she says something nice back. Hello! Oh, wait, what? See if she says something nice back. Oh, yeah. Hello! Fair princess! It is I, Irik, son, son, son. Favorite of four. <laughs> I forgot that my was With my dread hammer, Farfig Newton. And we are at your service. She <laughs> is not as cute as I thought. <laughs> Sorry, it's my little princess hat. <laughs> He's all decked out in yellow. So beautiful. Oh, when I gave I you those, it was to use for the powers of good. <laughs> I do want to let you know that uh, this is just a super side note, but a few years ago, uh, my we had a team that was doing uh, fizzball, which is beer with baseball. I mean, sorry, baseball with beer. Like you hit the beer cans or the balls. And... We did Disney princesses and I was Belle. And I, I'm just saying, I made Stockholm Syndrome look good. That's all I want to say about that. So, um, my, my yellow dress was beautiful. Anyway. Uh, wow. It, had, had, like, it was open in the back and like made my back look awesome. It was great. Can, can I request photos on the Patreon? Can we like oh, yeah. see some of that? I'm sure up on Facebook somewhere. Do, so. does, yeah. Was it open in the back because you couldn't get the zipper to zip up around yeah, your amazing hulking shoulders? Yeah, yeah. And then and then the dress was originally pink, so I spray painted it yellow, and it makes it waterproof. Did you know that enough spray paint will make your dress waterproof? Wow! And and it it held a bell shape. It was. <laughs> You don't even need hoops. It was great. Anyway. <laughs> it was cardboard or something. And I just sprayed it with like five cans of spray paint. It was awesome. Be I spilled beer all over it and it just went right off. It was great. Anyway. Anyway. But she did not have a yellow tall princess uh, hat like this, which this person does. You and know, I'm a princess too. <laughs> You are in my eyes, Kazoo. We can't all be princesses. I'm a princess! <laughs> he stands on her balcony. Now, and I just want to let you know that so you, she's got this really tall steps up, up, and up, and then there's this railing that she stands upon as she clearly sees you crash landing into her moop. And you don't quite uh, give everybody, give me a perception roll real quick. Boom! That's a good roll, finally, on the red die. <laughs> I received a natural nine. <laughs> uh, I got a 13. All right. I got a 26. A 26? Kazoo. Uh, that is one of the children. As a matter of fact, it's the youngest one. It's Melodia. How did we feel about the youngest one? Oh, the youngest one got on with the dad pretty okay. She Yeah, she, she was the one that the was father a... warned about yeah, the other letter. children that were trying to kill him. Okay, I tell Ayala and I kind of indicate to anybody who is within earshot. Okay. Uh, uh, Ayala and Eric, once Kazoo tells you, you're like, oh, right. Echo. Wait, wait, wait. She's not a Valkyrie? No, that's Melodia. Yeah, but I love your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have a that was an inside joke for all the belly dancers who watch Nat 21. <laughs> Wait, she's got her own cloud castle? Apparently. Whoa. Yeah, I don't even know what that's all about. So she's way before, more awesome than I thought. Before you get up the stairs too far, she says, Oh, mm -hmm. right. Well, we found you. We lovely. What do you mean? We found, you found us. We found you. Yeah, uh, I was looking for you. Uh, hi, everyone. Hello. 
I just want to talk. Don't worry. I'm pretty what? sure talking to me? my brother oh. and sister tried to kill you. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm the good one. How about because that's totally something that the good expedition. one would say. <laughs> How about a back story? Tell us what's going on. Make sure we don't do it wrong. How about a little exposition? Take it away, Paul. Well, very well. If you'd like me to monologue, I shall. <laughs> not because you're making me. Oh, gosh, no. The, the, the lit harmonies were just singing back up. They were not doing their mojo. As long as it's a good monologue and not an evil monologue, because we have really high hopes for you, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Everything uh -oh. is fair in love and war. And I... I'm a princess, and I will continue to be princess. And all I need for you to do is bring a note that you found on my father's body to the Gambolinis and authenticate it. That's all you have to do. And then it will prove that my brother and sister killed my father, which they did. Oh, she's got those crazy <laughs> eyes, guys. She does. She's and crazy. I will remain the princess that I'm always destined to be. Hmm. How did you know about the note? Because I wrote it. Yeah, <laughs> oh. there it is. But I did not kill my father. No. What? What are you a princess of? Are we talking about like princess of like the company? Like what princess? Look into my eyes. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Definitely don't look into no one look into her eyes. They're freaking me out. I already did. <laughs> I already did. Sorry. So you're a bad guy, right? No, I'm no, Eric. no, no, no. Eric, you're you're probably one of the best guys. But uh, <laughs> I heard that's one of my favorites too. <laughs> you're you're a princess, but that doesn't mean you know, maybe you're a little evil, hashtag evil, straight up. <laughs> Look, if you have any detect lie spells, you can cast them on me. I did not kill my father. I am not responsible for his murder. Aha! Aha! You didn't answer the evil question, though. I see what you did. I see what you did. I don't have to detect okay, lie. He, he might see what you did, but I'm still struggling to see what you did. So why, why would you write that letter if you didn't kill him and put the letter there. Because someone else, listen, you're hired um, missionaries. I can just, can I just hire you to just do this job for me? I tell you what, your majesty. No, 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 that's that's Highness. what means. Highness is a proper princess. I'm a princess. Yeah. Your uh, highness? Yep. Your high highness, okay. Your yeah, highness, because you're, uh, you're a princess. You're the a pretty princess too. You're the prettiest. <clears throat> um, I lost what I was thinking about because you're so pretty. Uh, what was I thinking, Ayala? <laughs> uh, it was probably something like, "We are only hireable for for good things, for good." Oh People. yeah. So yes. you're you're giving us some real middling vibes. And we just can't really deal with that. As freelance, we do get to have the opportunity to accept or decline the job. That's true. Please yeah. illuminate this is why us. We went into business for ourselves, you know. More monologue. <laughs> How about some more exposition? I, 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 I'm giving the monologue. <laughs> Well, <laughs> if my father passed away, according to the current will, all of his entire holdings of the Moop Empire that I am a princess of go to his servant and his bodyguard. Ooh. Because he didn't trust any of us. 
Why would he not trust you guys? I don't know, because my brother and my sister are assholes. And you're I'm definitely not an asshole. A princess. You're a princess. Oh, right. Why are you a princess, but your sister and brothers are not a princess? Uh, Because I'm the youngest. That doesn't make sense to me. I am oh, daddy's little daddy's princess. princess. Was that, oh. like, is that your name? That's cute. Oh, That's you're cute, so right? But that does not actually make you a princess. You understand that, right? Uh, roll save. Ayala. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did you just not call her a princess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you mess with my girl. All right. Uh, can, can I use that advantage from earlier? <laughs> uh, no. What did you roll? Uh, what, Somebody what else, my mom says she has an advantage, so. Oh. All right. Yes, advantage. All right. All right. Good. I need it. And what kind of roll is it again? Uh, this is wisdom a, save? Yeah. All right, with the advantage given to me by Ren Mom, it comes out to 16. All right, uh, I will, uh, you do just, you just see her flick her finger and that giant moop that was next to you spins. Oh, uh, what's your armor class? <gasps> it's uh, 16. <laughs> Okay, uh, spins around, like, oof, catches you on its horn and flings you <laughs> a good 25 feet. Oh, um, moop attack. You, oh, you, wow. you, you, you take five damage from the, from the hooking of the, like, the, its horn just like, oh, bam, and you're like, wow, oof. Uh, over to the other side, uh, literally up and over everyone, landing in a pile of snow and clouds. You want to go there, Prince? I'm to hit the moon. Fafi Nukin will not allow this to pass. Ayala, remember your beautiful uh, birthday gift that I got you? Uh, no. You control moops now. All oh, right. Yeah. I, sorry, I was a little concussed when I. Oh, I got your back. Are, are we doing this, Your Majesty? I tried you to. Attack. <laughs> My friend, so. I will crush you. Uh, I, didn't swing I swung at the move that hit my friend. Apparently, right Eric just ran across and tried to, like, ah, <laughs> the move. Uh, what'd you get? I received a natural two <laughs> for a total. Of 11. Wow. wow. I'm going to say that you basically like ran towards it and didn't realize where the castle started and the snow ended or the you know, snow started. And then wow. you like literally like, Whoa, and then you just sink into six feet of snow. That makes sense. Pretty much right next to the, and just Whoa, the only thing you just see the top of his hammer sticking up out of the snow. Um, can my head be there too? Because I want to look at the moop and be like. <laughs> and it just looks at you and just snorts like and blows a bunch of snot. Yeah. Uh, I deserve uh, that. I deserve that. Uh, the moop is not aggressive at this moment. Uh, it just did its that one thing and then just kind of like. I'm, I'm embarrassed for myself. And for Farfig Newton, and I'm going to duck my head down into the snow to <laughs> just wipe the. Just cover yourself up. And I'm just going to cover myself in the snow <laughs> and hope no one saw what just happened as I wipe it off. All right. So, Kazoo, uh, Kazoo, you uh, threw some threats oh, out. What, what did you do? Oh, I, I do throw, uh, not necessarily threats. I say, that was not a good idea. I gently flick my finger. To match her finger flicking, and I throw some whole person down on her. <gasps> wow! Uh, so all I'm right. not hurting. Uh, you feel as if the spell about halfway up kind of just <laughs> dissipates. All righty, that's good to know. Fun fact. All right, I'll pull out my Shamzu bone. Echo, what do you do? 
Um, well, when the whole person doesn't work, I'm going to throw my net at her and say, dissipate that. Uh, she is pretty far up, though. She's still she's still pretty high up. Oh, oh, but she's, oh how far away is she? Yeah. Uh, she's, a, she's a good 40 feet. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, I need to sort of throw that. Oh. Yes, standing on her balcony of ice and... I want to just try this just to find out. Uh, I want to shoot a ray of frost at her. Okay. Pew! Does uh, it, it do it anything? Get up to the balcony and just kind of frost around. Okay, we have to get her off the balcony, guys. She's, she points to you a lot, Ayala, and says, take back what you said. I am a princess! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull my grappling hook and <laughs> rope out of my bag. <laughs> and just, all right, princess, here we go. And I'm gonna try to hit that balcony and I'm going up there. So she's like, at least you called me a princess. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, it's a lovely power you have there. It'd be a shame if somebody toppled it. That's right. Da, 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 da. Or melted it. Da, da. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm angry. There's like uh, embers like shooting out of my nose. Yes. Uh, when she raised her finger and, and the Yala flew around, uh, out stepped from beside one of the little archways here along the balcony, a very, very large half orc. Who may or may mm, give me a uh, give, mm, well? I'll just let you figure it out. Uh, a very large half orc with a very large battle axe. No, oh. uh, oh, he, I'm he looks stuff. pretty well made up. Uh, like like his belongings are very nice. He's you know as if he's put well put together. And Is he like a bodyguard kind of person? Like a bodyguard. Okay. Whoa. Like a certain bodyguard that we heard about before and saw maybe once? Uh, you, you never actually saw him. That's oh. Funny. Did we hear he was a half orc? Yeah. I think we did. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Oh. Yes, Kazoo. May I begin the Shamzu boning? Uh, okay. Here. Of the tower balcony thing. Oh. The balcony thing. Oh, okay. I'm going to uh, crumble the balcony. Have... She's like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there. Sh slow down. Don't make me come down there. <laughs> Allow me to oh, play you a song. You'll come down here? <laughs> All right. Kazoo, are you are you going for the uh, wall yeah. shattering? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I am on the uh, balcony, please. Uh, oh, on the balcony, nice. <laughs> uh, and Ayala, what are you doing? I was trying to grapple hook the balcony, so I guess that kind of messes with my plan. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean it. It's it's close enough. You could actually. Um, right. If she's gonna knock down the balcony, though, I'm not gonna try to. Climb yeah, you're like, oh, okay. So you're kind of like. Oh, you could ride the rock wave down like so many chairs in a wrestling match. <laughs> that sounds very dangerous and ill-advised. <laughs> Can you not pull her I'll down just, with the grappling I'll hook? I'll just wait down here. And, uh, she, okay. she said that if you kept playing, she would come down here. So I'm willing to wait and let her come down. Here. <laughs> like, what, what, what? We can't work this out. What are you doing? Don't hurt my castle. <laughs> oh, a chip of it like like breaks off piece of the railing like 
And she's like, I love oh. that, uh, Ayala is like, I'll keep playing, but mm -hmm. I will stop. I make eye contact with Ayala to indicate, I will stop if you want me to. Bye -bye. No. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Keep up the good work, buddy. I grab out my tambourine and I make fierce eye contact with the princess and bang the tambourine. I love that I got you that for your birthday. When I hear the sounds of a party, yes, I will leave the snowbank. Okay, you start to crawl out of the snowbank that you created. Uh, and that's when you see the moop is heading straight towards Kazoo. Oh, also a lightning bolt. Oh. Oh, this is what? gonna suck! <laughs> you know what's what? faster than a moop? Lightning bolt. <laughs> Your body is so tiny. What will happen to you if you get hit by lightning? We're about to find out. <laughs> It be an electric, uh, it's the electric kazoo boogaloo. <laughs> uh, kazoo, make a save. I would like to make a save, please. What kind of save? Uh, it's a say, it's a deck save. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I mean, oh, advantage to my next roll. Auto, wait, auto success. Oh, auto success for kazoo was for the shamzu, which did yes. sunk off a piece of uh, yes. Uh, Oh, can I use the nat 21 to make the bolt hit the moop? Uh, I did get a 17 for my save. Yes. And also, well, here's the problem. There's a few people in the way. Um, that, well, I guess the lightning bolt could hit the moop. But, uh, oh, yeah, well, I guess. Uh, all right. So... Uh, here's what's gonna happen. That means Eirik needs to make a deck save. <laughs> yeah. No, ah, of course. I'll take my 17 save. Oh. Frank, you oh, can use I your gotta... 21 to have the lightning divert using perhaps the will of Thor, perhaps the will of Frank, who no one knows. Maybe However, even Thor. Yes, I right. got a 19. Nicely done. You will only take half of 65. <gasps> oh. <laughs> the, moop, oh. the moop made an 18 on its save, and it takes half of 65 as well. Um, the wool just kind of... Zzz, oh! <gasps> Static! Should air moops be... I don't know. I think they might be kind of immune. Like they are, they have their lightning resistant. because they're going to be straight up like static bombs. But if anybody touches that moop, they will take 60 damage. So, <laughs> 21 gigawatts. Oh, no. I am, um, yeah. Wait, which moop is it? It's the moop that's right here. All right. Oh, thank you, Magnus. Blam. Oh, lightning bolt shoots down, oh, just missing kazoo. And all right, minus 10 damage. Yeah, all right. That's pretty good. And the moop is swirling with electricity through all of its wool. You can see it just it's like a one of them Van de Graaff machines. And uh, <laughs> I will not stop playing. All right, Echo, what are you doing? Um, can I see action cam bigger? Oh, yeah, let's go to the action cam. Yeah. And are we are we in initiative right now? <laughs> uh, no, yeah. more of you, more of you. <laughs> I'm just no, gonna I'm good. Up over here. Do, do, do. That's right, more action cam. Because what the world needs now is action cam. I am, I am. Aww, it does. And oh. she's one, one step up. There you go. Boop. Uh, she is actually way at the top. Oh. I'm like trying to move my head so that I can look up, but that's not how screens work. <laughs> right? <laughs> I want to look there. She is actually just above that guy right there. Or that guy right there. She's just above him up the next step. 
So um, the, the little body that I can see, or, or the big body that I can see, oh. that's the one, that's the orc? That is the half orc right there, yes. The half orc. Oh, and then she's above the half orc. Yeah. Okay. He just stepped in front of her. It appears that the half orc and her are together. Yeah. We got to get them off that balcony so we can start using magic at them. But uh, how? Ding, 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 All right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm just guessing on what squares are. Can I throw my trident at the half orc? Uh, you can give it a shot. Yeah. I mean, it's only a good 35 feet away. Yeah. And up. Okay. So, you know. Also, by the way, Paulo, that's yes. beautiful. That is. That's a lovely fabrication. This is that. actually from Kazoo and Magnus. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's I awesome. painted that for Magnus for one of his mini games. And I was yeah. like, where am I going to use this? Yeah. <laughs> you and Magnus are such babes. <laughs> We're crafty bitches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it is, uh, let's see. Tell you what, let's. Let's get everyone's initiative and dun, dun, dun. are you in the thing where we roll die for initiative? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna I'll use that advantage disadvantage that somebody had given me. Uh so, so wait, somebody gave you I know, I know it's rare, but it happens. <laughs> there was a haiku about it one time. I oh, saw really? that. Yeah. I choose to blame you then. No, no, I, <laughs> the haiku pointed out that it was the first time Romulus had ever seen anyone give you any negatives. That's right. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> A couple episodes ago. And now as the party forms up, after just getting hit by electricity, it's time for confessions. What? That's right. It's already nine o'clock. Wow. Do, do, do. <clears throat> I do not like this princess. I mean, I've known, I, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of ladies out there who like, like to claim that they're a princess and that's fine with me. You could be a princess, you could be an empress, you could be the queen of turds for all I care, but don't hurt my friends. And don't have a freaking magic shield. I don't even know if it's just a magic shield. It could be an everything shield. It could be just a shield shield, but we're getting them off of that balcony and that is all I can think about right now, except for also a little bit sore. <laughs> I can't believe it's not a Valkyrie. Oh. I mean, I'm when we were boys, the scalds would talk of cloud castles and Valkyries that would find young source warriors and show them the ways of love. Take them to Valhalla. And... She's not a Valkyrie. And I heard Kazoo say something about how she met Thor. I wish I could meet Thor. I wish me and Tor, when we were flying around, would have met Thor. That would have been great. But <laughs> oh, uh, what are you going to do? I guess. Anyhow. This princess, or this princess, oh, she is going to get it. Mm -mm, no, we are not playing with this whole crazy eye, not a princess thing, up in the clouds with her little moop army. You know what? I, I, you know, I get it though. You know, I'm getting it. She has a whole army of moops and she's, she has a castle and my dad used to call me princess. All right. All right. That doesn't mean I'm not going to punch her, though. I am a princess. Look, you know, and I just look, I just want I just need to be called princess. That dragonborn just said, you're not a princess. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what? OK, I might have gotten a little upset. But if everybody apologizes for not calling me princess, then we're all good. And then they can just deliver the note. And then everything will be fine. And then I will continue to have the Moop Empire that my daddy left to me. I just love Moops. I can't, I can't believe that. I can't believe.
believe that they took it this long to start smashing things. I've been waiting this whole time, and then the big O fell in the snow. I can't believe it. I like smashing things in chaos. It's great times. <laughs> Ooh, what does he have? That looks good. Oh, oh it's a Krampus glass. Nice. nice. Hashtag product. Love the shakes. The shakes pantomime there. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right. So, who got a really high initiative? I, I was thinking 16. Oh, I got 20. 20. Wow. All right. Echo. Next. Uh, 13. 19, 19 to 15. Anyone? No? 14 to 16. Oh, 16. All right. Uh, so, Echo, Eirik, all of the most of the baddies. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> uh, and then uh, 13, 12. 12. What did I say? 12. You did said I 13. Say 13. 13. Echo? Sorry. 13. 13. All uh, right, thirteen. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Kazoo, kazoo. All right, uh, eleven. Ten. Is that all of us? Nine, eight, seven, six, five. No, that's everybody. All right, wait. So, Echo, Iric, uh, Kazoo. Where's Ayala? Twelve. Twelve. All oh, right. Okay. So Kazoo and then Ayala. <laughs> we're gonna rock it down. Mm -hmm, we're oh, that's gonna, gonna be really funny. All right. Okay. Well, Echo, looks like you're up first. What's gonna happen? Uh, I want to see if I can hit that half orc with my trident. All right, go for it. Oh, that's one of my favorite games. <laughs> hit that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, 17. A 17. Uh, your. Whew. So. Oh, oh, that's going to be so bad. All right. So here's what happens you throw oh your <laughs> trident up, it almost reaches the balcony, it disappears. And then. <laughs> and then you get shot. Uh, you you hear the moop beside you to your right go Murr! as your trident appears in the moop. And then a bolt of lightning shoots down your trident out directly towards you. Uh, <gasps> make a save. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Kind of save. Uh, this deck save. So, Paul, you really just... Did you say five? You made it five? Then that is 30 damage. I got a, a, a auto success with the trident. All right. Then it's... Uh, well, the auto success, you... It actually Probably hits on the move. Thing. Okay. Yeah. I got a plus five to my save, so that's a ten. All right, no. that's still gonna be thirty damage. Thirty damage. Uh, These lightning bolts oh. suck. So what happens? It literally disappears. It reappears, hitting the moop, which is what the auto success did. And then, because the moop was filled with electricity, it actually pulled it out and and shot in your direction because it went down your trident. Uh. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Uh, I'm going to call back my trident with my bonus action. Ow. All right. And go. Uh, uh, uh. 
Ayo, Rick. Eirik is going to charge like a maniac. <laughs> I am going to charge like a maniac. I fly into a rage, and I am charging up the stairs. I was going to throw an axe, but I, I am smart, and I saw what happened. So I'm charging. I'm attacking what looks like a worthy. I'm looking him in the eye as I'm coming forward as well. Okay. Ah! <laughs> he actually is gonna, the land of Vikings, no. He's actually going to meet you. That gives uh, me pause. Yeah. <laughs> not for long, but I am going to uh, charge forward. <laughs> it's not right. usually a reaction I get. And Frank, wait, wait, wait. Didn't you? Oh, wait, oh you've got your uh, Twitch crit. All right. There you go. Ah. <laughs> so how does this... Uh, in 5e, I can, we do our full attack and move? Yes. All right, so the first one's a crit, I guess. Is that correct? Yes. Do you want me to roll all the hits first to do the damage each time? Uh, roll all your, all your so you, you have two attacks. I have two attacks and a bonus because I am in a rage and right. it's a frenzy, I believe. Gives me an extra. Yeah, all bonus right. action. So on the second one, ah, uh, advantage. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, we're going to probably not use the first roll. Aha! Ah, so that is a 24 on the second oh, one. Dang, all right. For that advantage, thank you, Sally. And for the final bonus action attack, oh, that is a 26. <laughs> uh, that would be all three. Yeah, so you've got the first double one. on the first one. First one does 16. The first one does 32. Oh, geez. The second one does 10. And the third does 14. All uh, right. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Frank. I raise a glass to you, and I will see you in the halls of Valhalla. You throw. Oh, and plus 10 damage. Oh, well, I don't remember what I did. Uh, I got 56 plus 10. 66. Right. Well done. <laughs> I love these Patreon saints. Oh, bam. You run up. And clobber him. Uh, it's it's basically one nice. really good hit that you just. I was just faking the hammer action when I realized I actually have the hammer. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have no mantle. <laughs> and you throw him back. Uh, actually, I'm gonna give him. Uh... I'm gonna make he's that's a lot of damn oh and I just rolled a five on a save. Mm. Uh you, friend. You, you he doesn't fall off, but you throw him. He's he's stunned. He's like wham. Um you, you knock him back with that magnificent hammer. Someday when uh, I meet Thor, I'm gonna tell him about this. It's gonna be great. Yeah. All right. Uh let's see. It is all right. Thank you, Patreons. Oh, right. Um, okay. Meeting, mm -mm -mm. Uh, so, Kazoo. Yeah. Uh, a cloud. A, a snow. Uh, it, it's, you're not sure. Cloud, snow, uh, from the ground, rises up in the shape of some sort of gigantic, abominable snowman. Awesome. And attempts to strike you. Oh, geez. Awesome. With a natural 19, which is a 24, and an 18. Oh. Great fail, great fail, yay! All right, so one <laughs> fail, but still an 18 <laughs> on the other one. You got your crit fail there, Red Mom. Uh, what's your AC? 13. Uh, yeah, so the 18 does. This crazy monstrosity attacks you. Um, hmm. Disadvantage. Uh, a disadvantage, you people. Oh, uh, well, you're going to take that roll because I just rolled another 19. So, uh, Alex. So take the, take the 18. Take the 18. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's going to be a mere 11 damage. I will take that, but my question for you is, can I keep playing? Uh, you're going to have to make a, a uh, concentration. Yep, 
I would like to do that, please. Not a constitution, concentration. Yes. How do I do that? Uh, I believe it's a saving throw. Nat 21 to her to continue. All right. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> nice. You're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see the wave go out forward and kind of like that that extra blast of breath <laughs> and smack <laughs> all right uh let's see that was that one that's that one um and now we're at we are actually at kazoo um, can I do anything in addition to the Shamzu bone? Uh, I mean, you can move half. Uh huh. You concentrate. It's basically like a concentration spell. Yeah. The well, see, concentration. You can still do some things. Yes. Uh, but you can't cast another concentration spell. Correct. Right. Yeah. So, but dissonant whispers is not a concentration spell, which is why I was kind of asking: Would I be able to do this? I don't think you yeah, can. That's fair. I thought I yeah. would ask. Thought I would ask. I will like to um, step back. And would I be able to put my cloak up? Although, nope, that doesn't. Well, it just makes me less obvious. I will step back and hang out behind uh, Ayala. Okay. And. Uh, is there any chance with a bonus action I could do a bardic inspiration to her? Um, I suppose because you could play the Shamzu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll allow that. All right, go Ayala with your bardic inspiration because I am a higher level now. It's a D8. Nice. Uh, cool. Nice. Are you rolling that or am I rolling that? Neither. It works. Uh, I got a five if you wanted to. So I just add that to whatever I'm doing? Yeah. Your choice. Fabulous. Your choice. All right. So. Our spell's still not getting through up there. So we, we tried it and it, it stopped and disappeared to somewhere else. It seems to. All right. Oh, great. and the, is the Shamzu affecting it any more this round? Uh, not uh, not more than, than it hasn't changed anything. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, on the area that we saw the spell like disappear to before it stopped i want mm -hmm. to cast a dispel magic oh there you go all right uh i believe that yeah. is these so, days in 5e you roll right any you. spell of third level or, or lower ends mm -hmm. automatically um, right. if it's higher then i do a spell check and the check is equal to 10 plus the spell's level wow right. all right so give me that roll all righty. Roll high, roll high, roll high. And I do have your plus five, right? So that, ooh, all right. That is going to be 23. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that'll do it. <laughs> that, that's, that's, yeah. 23, that'll do it. Uh, all right, you you hear a s like a snap through the snow that just and you can tell she gets a wild eye and like, hey, that's not that's not nice. You're ruining my castle. <laughs> just wanted to talk, but no. You just because you wouldn't call me princess. You know what? Yeah, that's it. Uh, hilariously, yeah, she's actually going to, she's dropping a lightning bolt on Ayala, who really hasn't forgiven her or taken back the fact that she's a princess. Uh, oh, boy. 
I knew I should have turned into a moop at the end of that round. <laughs> what do you got? What? Uh, what the uh, you got a save? Oh, dexterity save. Is it? Sorry, dexterity. All right. So instead of Ren Mom, instead of giving a disadvantage to the princess, it would have to be an advantage to yes. Ayaka. Uh, that is going to be an eight. All right. Well, you do have advantage from oh. Ren Mom throwing you the. Oh, thank yes, you, Ren Mom. All yes. right. I really mom. needed yeah, it. So. <laughs> oh, and oh, something's success. Nice. All right. Going to throw the auto success. So, uh, so that is. Thanks, Magnus. Uh, that was actually, that was 56. So 56, half of 56. You make me do the math. 28. Uh, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28. Right. Oof. Ow. And I just want to point out that it melts all the snow and blows a hole in the, the in the clouds. Uh, Fortunately, in a diagonal, because she's above you, like, blam. And, like, Kazoo, you actually see it. Like, Ayala, you didn't actually see it as it just, like, brrr, evaporated the clouds and the lightning. And you're like, whoa, was that a hole? And the, the clouds reform, but snow definitely does not. So, Did I uh, see that? Um, No, actually, you can't really see it from where you are. Okay. All right. Ba -da -ba -da. Moops. Uh, right. Remember those moop stats I gave to all the Patreons? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I never in my wildest dreams thought we were going to be fighting moops. I'm well, not yeah. disappointed. I love moops. It's kind of a mind controlled moop. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's what I didn't expect. No one expects the mind control. <laughs> Well, I never expected to go to a cloud castle and not find a Valkyrie. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, surprisingly, Moop misses target one. Uh, Moop misses target two. I can't believe I rolled two fives in a row. It's because the Moop doesn't really want to hurt us. Moop's are our friends. It's fighting back. What do you mean advantage Moop? Advantage Frank. Moop. Oh. All right. Uh, no. They love those Moops, man. Frank, which which one? Uh, is that advantage on the attack on Kazoo or Echo? I'll we'll uh, we'll move on. Hurt. <laughs> we'll, we'll move on. Do, 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 do. Frank, that move's gonna stay there. Uh, Frank, you're so handsome. Echo. It's advantage okay. move. All right, so we're square. Bam, it's back to the five. Because oh, and actually, I rolled. Another five, three fives in a row. So there you go. Oh, and then when then I throw the dice aside, it's a 17. Nice. Uh, Thank so. you, Aaron, for that disadvantage. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Those were the moops. Uh, um, All right. So this, the half work. Uh, oh. You know what? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ayala, when you cast a spell magic, uh, what is the radius? Is it a radius? Is it a one? No, it's it's on a thing. That's why I chose the point at which I saw the magic disappear. Mm-hmm. Okay, I... Hmm. Oh, hold on. A magical effect within range. Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. So, so you I, chose I, the balcony. Yeah, I chose whatever the okay. thing was. All right, just checking. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I would assume that you would choose, like, wh whatever's right there in the air, right there where the balcony is. Because um, it could have, this could have ended differently, but all right. So, uh, <laughs> all right. The half work looks at you, Eirik, and 
is going to actually use action surge so that he is not completely destroyed in one round. <laughs> While he lost his go this round for being hit so hard, he actually just goes <sighs> and then moves in to strike you. Good luck, my friend. A, an advantage. Oh, all right. I'll take the advantage. Oh, all right. All well, the advantage would be an rolled of an 18, so that is a 20. That will hit! A palpable hit! All right, and he's going to use his awesome ability to... Oh, no, wait, that's only if he crits. Sorry. Uh, all right. Oh, a measly 15. Uh -huh. oh. Oh, I'm so angry, too. Ah. Uh, Idrick, give me a perception check. Oh. Oh, a 20. Oh, all right. Oh, sorry, an 18. I have no bonus on that. You you see that this, uh, he, like, this half-orc, his eyes are kind of glazed. Uh, he also does not appear to be um, much like the moops. He, he seems to be acting a little bit later than he normally should. Like, he should be a very fast moving fighting individual but he seems to be second guessing his actions which is something that half orcs don't usually tend to do I'm just all like, right oh. i have a question for you yes dungeon master yes. i am in a rage right now yes do you think that i noticed this and think that he might be under some kind of compulsion or should i roll something to see if my raged out well you did roll a 20. well i got uh, 18. You know what? For the uh, perception. I'll, give you, I'll give you disadvantage <laughs> All right. I just, I don't know. I mean, I could see right. it, but I don't know if I would comprehend what that means sure. in my current state. Right now, you just think he's sucking. <laughs> I have no idea. I rolled a one on this disadvantage. disadvantage All right. So. You just think he's got the mo the crazy eye. Yeah, I think yeah. he's a barbarian. He's raging like me. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. He also Rocky has a, uh, he also has a second attack. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we got the auto fail <laughs> thrown in there by Magnus. So auto hit uh, by Frank. All right. And the auto hit. So <laughs> I don't know. It's got action. Well, it's two attacks and action. Sir. Uh, hmm. So, well, he does have an actual, actual action. So, so yeah. Uh, all right. So he did get one hit off. And that's going to be true. That's a 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17 more damage. Oh, excellent. Do we have a um, healer in this party? Healer. Ah, apparently, um, healer boring. I can do a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was, just move. that was Noctar. It is now back to the top. Echo. Okay. I want to use my 30 feet to, can I, with my 30 feet, can I get uh, next to Irik in front of that half orc? Yes. Cool. That is exactly where you can be. Boop. She's not, I don't think she's going to get in front of me. You're getting next to me, right? Yeah, next to him. Yeah, yeah. we're melee. Like, I don't know that there's like a, it's pretty weird in there. Like, the, this hammer is just kind of, you don't want to get in front of it. It's oh. kind of got a mind of its own. Philippe has thrown uh, five points of healing on on uh, Eirik, basically, by giving him minus five oh, to Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, still, um, I wonder if we have a healer. I, I don't know if I know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Did the, did the snow monster take a swipe at me when I ran oh, past it? It sure did. And missed horribly. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's good. Um, I would like to uh stab the crap out of the orc. All right. Stab the crap out of the orc. I'm gonna stab the crap out. Of the orc. Stabbing the crap. Stabbing the crap. Ooh. That's gonna be a twenty-two. Oh, geez. Yes, that's that hits. That is some crap stabbing right there. Yeah, crap stab. <laughs> crap stabbing. Uh. Oops. Gonna be oh five damage. Five? Five. All right. But the good news is uh because I'm a a, a, a freaking 
fighter over here. I get to stab him again. All right. Oh, and all right. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, that's less good. That one is a 15. No, that's not good enough. He dodges no. swiftly and blocks the trident off to the side. Whoosh. Uh, all right. Eirik, you're up I again. will continue my raging assault on this person who's completely in his right mind. I receive a 25. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is right. I don't know what I'm I'm out of control. Jaws. <laughs> Jaws. Oh, I received that. a natural one. All right. Oh. All I don't right. Know what that means for you, but I guess I'll roll damage on my first one. Mm -hmm. That would be eleven. All right. He's still alive. Miraculously. What, does one, what does my one do? Anything? Hey, what the heck? Uh, uh, one point of damage then. Oh. With Farfig Newton. All right. Frank is chaotic. Yeah, he's all over the place. <laughs> all right. Uh, with that one, you you swing wildly. Echo. Um, oh, oh, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, you swing wildly, Echo. You will need to make a Dex check to oh, just. No. <laughs> I'll never forgive myself. It'll be okay. It's I'm fine. Cloud. Uh, oh, I, I got a nineteen. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like. <sighs> What'd you get? Nineteen. Oh, 19. All right. You nimbly dodge aside, kind of up on the side rail. And then whoosh, as as Eirik just swings back wildly and you can almost hear the oh. hammer like <laughs> also, I do get a bonus action because of my frenzy whenever I when I'm raging each turn. Yeah. Uh right, and that one should hit it's a 21. All right. And that will be another 17 points of damage. Oh, there we go. Oh. He's still up, but he's not liking it at all. I, um, this is a worthy opponent. All right. <clears throat> all right. So now we have. It would be great if we kill him off before his next chance to hit me. I'm just going to say, throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Plus five to Eric. Uh, yeah. So that's five more. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Reverend Tommy. I think that was Zelani. Hmm? Oh, is that my mind? I'm sorry. All right. No, no, I think it was Zelani that gave it to you. Oh, oh, thank you. Yes. Through the snow monster tries to clobber kazoo. Uh, those are 18s, both 18 and 18. Well, uh, that's funny because they would both hit at 18. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and both seven damage each. So 14? And, and so, yes. Rolled the same exact number. So I need to roll something to keep from to oh. keep playing. Are you at what what are you at? To keep playing the Shamzu bone. Oh yes. I'm also at eleven, so all right. Uh, Is anything added to this, like a performance roll? Uh, I believe it's, eh, well, uh, it's concentration, I, so it's usually wisdom. I am a professional. Oh, I know you are a professional. I was going to say maybe you add that. Well, you have a plus five and an advantage <laughs> that uh, people are throwing <laughs> down I'll here. I'll get that first roll, but uh, plus five. That's, that's yeah. But, uh, if we can add my performance, then it's it's a done deal. <laughs> what did you roll? How badly did you roll? Well, I rolled a five. All right, but you have advantage. Oh, no. So. That was uh, the higher of the two. That was the rolls. higher of the two? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I always say the, uh, I mean, it's better than a two, right? So five is better yeah, than a Yeah, two. five is better than two, yeah. 
So uh, five plus one is six. Uh, yeah. But that's that's wisdom now. Like I said, professional. And I have played in some pretty rowdy bars as a performer. You right. Know. But you do also have a plus five from to kazoo. From, so uh, so that does. Eleven. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that that's all together. That's a lot of pluses. Are they all coming wow. in? Yes. <laughs> that 21. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. All right. I will I will say I get to keep playing my You dodge, you ahead. duck, you get hit, you spin, you I dodge. Get twice. You still get hit. For 14 still... points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it's it's that it's that uh, game that you see in a bar. Yes. Uh, well, I'm thinking uh, of the Blues well, Brothers. Also, before Magnus <laughs> threw down that 21, four saints gave you plus fives. So wow. That so that's yeah. 20. Right that's there. some love. Look at you. Yeah. yeah. You want uh, to see you her her blow and come down. Yeah. And, and, it's, and you can oh, see now that, that the spell that has been broken now with the third round of activity of the Shamzu bone not being stopped. You can see it starting to vibrate and pulse the whole balcony. And she's like, rut row. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I survived one more round. Yup. Uh, so that was those guys. Um, uh, can I do right? a disadvantage? Not a disadvantage. So it's like a bardic inspiration, but it is a, um, it's the opposite. So you're gonna go the same exact thing. <laughs> or or it can be the same song, but she's hearing it in an, in a sinister tone. You have to do send it so there's a tr uh uh Shamzu bone. <laughs> it's I'll play that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, sure. The one time I didn't get my trombone out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to play sad trombone, please. The one time. Uh, 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 I've always, I've had, had my trombone here the whole time. My, my saxophone, guitar. I got all the. I didn't bring. The... <laughs> oh yes, and it's a minus seven. <laughs> oh geez. All right. Uh, all right. So. Uh, on either oh. a save or an attack roll. All right, so that was, so that was the bad guy attacking you, or the bad monster attacking you, um, and and it is your go now, right? And so you just did that, and it's the mm. third round of the Shamzu cracking the. Oh, I rolled a natural twenty-one on the save of the balcony. So wow. although cracking, it must be so cold that it's refreezing parts of it, and it, ah, ah unbelievable. Like, and why do I roll twenty one then? <laughs> 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 All right, All right. it is time for Ayala. All right, I have two questions. Yes. The first question: that balcony. Is that yes. higher than the steps, or do the steps lead up to where she is? The steps lead up to then a door that goes underneath the balcony. So that's why this guy jumped down from the balcony to uh, to meet Eirik. So it's an archway. So it's not like a closed door. Correct. All right, great. Uh, my next question, how does my loop control necklace work? Well, you, I didn't even identify. Uh, you just kind of moot call it, you know. Well, is it is it an action? Is it a bonus action? Yeah, it's an action. Yeah, because right. you're you're like controlling the moot to do something. So. All right, great. So. Yes, and someone gave you a twenty-one to control oh, the moot. Oh, oh, I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> but because it is a full action that changes my plan slightly. So what I'm going to do is cast 
call lightning. No. All right. But I want to, I want it on that area between the princess and that giant moop so that it hits both of them because I want to electrify that moop. Okay. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? Oh, I see where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great. So that is a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a snowstorm going on, right? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get an extra D10 of damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, John Van Fleet threw down a crit success. It's a save. So if you would like to instead throw that crit save, make that a crit fail... She's gonna take double damage. Mm, mm, so, mm. Um, so she stands there going, like realizing that her balcony is shaking apart. Hilariously, she rolled the same number that you did, Ayala. So she actually is going at the same time you are. So she oh. is, she is also shooting you with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm see the difference is I, I'm gonna turn into a moop on my bonus action. Mm -hmm. So how does that play out? Uh like, bonus action does... comes later. All right, all right. So lightning, lightning, lightning. The difference is she's shooting lightning at you. You're calling lightning. It actually comes from the sky and blasts down at her. So uh yeah, and she's totally didn't see it coming. Because she was focused on shooting you with lightning. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I want to channel Irek and be like, ah! <laughs> 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 yeah. And you hear the sounds of the Valkyrie. Is Where were you? Sound? Where were you, Valkyrie? <laughs> I found a cloud castle. Seriously. Um, Somewhere in the clouds, they must be watching. We're on the wrong cloud, guys. <laughs> We're on the wrong cloud. How about after this fight, we go find the Valkyrie cloud? Oh, could we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That'd be great. So All right. did she Thank fail her save? Oh, she crit failed. Yeah. All right. Amazing. So that's double damage? Yep. Oh. Oh, dear. This is going to be spicy. All right. Oh, right. All right. So 10, 20, 28, 29. And I see a plus 10. So it's 39. <laughs> That's 78 when you double it. That's a lot. Patreon Saints, you guys rock. <laughs> All right. And then now you got to make a save for your, uh, for yourself. Oh, dear. All right. But there's some some traffic going on here and i'm trying to keep track yes uh zelani clarified did a save for the bad guy but someone else credited so that it could apply as an advantage to ayala ah all right so that could right. be here we go yeah uh well, you and get what advantage. Am I that again? That's you got an advantage easy. on that save right well it's a good thing i had that advantage because the first roll was a two. Oh, oh. man. Uh, so instead it's going to be a 15, and let's hope that's enough. I'm pretty sure that is, yes. Uh, right, so that is uh, 15, 20. Uh, that is another 47. <gasps> what does that have? Oh, uh, sorry, that would be 23. I'm down. What? I'm down. Oh, no. I've never gone down in this game before. No way. All right, what do you at? Uh, I'm sorry. What you said? Twenty-seven. Yeah. I'm at negative six. Wait, right. wait. What did you say? No, it's you're 23. Yeah, it's twenty-three. Twenty-three. All so right. So um, negative, negative two. Two. All right. So here's what you do. What's your constitution? For those of you out there who do not know, I don't do death saves. I think they're boring. So uh, this is what we do. We subtract what you're negative at. We, we keep, we, I do negatives because I do math. So what's your constitution? Uh, 
It is 16. All right. So you take your where you're at, negative two, subtract that from your constitution, 14. So now to remain conscious, you need to roll a 14 or less or you wow. are out. Now, if you remain conscious at negative two, you are you cannot take a full movement, but you can act and you will be conscious. Now, of course, you might be able to change shape, but you might just be passed out right now. So roll that die. Oh, I'm so, I'm so nervous. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, uh, well, she's actually at one or something. Wait for it. I'm down. You are but down. But, she's down minus five. But Reverend Tommy is going to heal you back up for five, doing minus damage on that thing. But that means you are unconscious for this round. All right. You're actually unconscious. Oh, <laughs> yes, I oh. got one. Finally. Oh. <laughs> you well, thought Kazu so was like amazing lightning cloud hit the princess. And then all of a sudden I get hit with lightning and just bite it. <laughs> you thought Kazu was dark before? Uh -oh. it's, it's really hard to tell. Oh, Kazoo, I'm sorry. You actually uh -oh. have to make a save too because you are right next to her with that lightning bolt. Sorry, you're in the range. And so is the little cloud thing, which failed its save and probably blew up. Foop. Uh... <laughs> Not 21 on the save. Oh, right. No damage. All right. Well, that's lucky because if i took any damage I oh would... and here's the crazy thing that happens that lightning bolt that she shot at you blows a hole through the snow and the clouds and you fall ayala <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh this is unfortunate oh man oh, no. you because as you if you hadn't fallen down it, you, you'd be fine, but it's right behind you at that angle, and you go down, and she starts to, like, slide down the cloud, like, down the path oh, that no. the lightning took. Um, <laughs> and, Kazoo, you're standing, and you're like, you leap to the side with your nat 21, and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> like, um... Let's see. And that is, oh, but yeah, the, that little, the, how, how much damage was that? That was a ton of damage you did to her. Uh, oh, it was, oh, wait, I wrote, wrote down. It was a lot. Can we just say things would have been a little different if she didn't get a 21 save on her balcony? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she's, ah, uh, she took a ton of damage. Yeah, it was oh, like 90 oh, wait. something damage. I am sorry. That balcony needs to make a save from that lightning. Diggy, 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 diggy. If anybody wants to, uh, <laughs> you know. No, no, nobody save the balcony. Don't do it. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're going to just crit fail this balcony. But <laughs> as F I, that balcony. F it. <laughs> F it so hard. I'll, I'll wait to roll as I describe how Ayala is sliding down the clouds. <laughs> Like, with their little feet dangling. And the <laughs> Uber crow. Call an Uber. It's an Uber hog. Um, <clears throat> uh, auto, auto failed, failed balcony. balcony. <laughs> yes. How are, we, uh, how are we who are right by that balcony? How are we faring? Uh, yeah, right in front of you, suddenly there's uh, no balcony. Um <laughs> Ah, it shatters into a million pieces of a lightning and uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, oh, the, I don't know. That princess might not be there anymore. Um, uh, but I wanted to hurt her. <laughs> oh, I'm going to, oh, I'm done. Uh, this yeah. guy actually dives off the side trying to get away from the lightning um, as a reaction. And uh, sinks through the oh, clouds. Just and the... my turn. Oh. <laughs> I'm freaking out, you guys. Uh, right. Yeah, this is actually Kazu's villain origin story. Ayala dies, and Kazu just goes full, <laughs> full evil. She's <laughs> not gonna die. Uh, no way. 
random moops wandering around who now are no longer controlled. Oh, oh, that's right. And someone also dropped a charm spell because they are uh, blown up. So, um, right on. All right. So, uh, right. Well, where are we? We're at the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is his go, actually. It's his go. He leapt off the side, landed in the snow. Orc? And uh, is that the half orc? Yeah. Oh, I'm really glad he didn't hit me again because I would have been hanging out with Ayala in Valhalla. <laughs> you and I would have a great time in Valhalla. We would rock Valhalla. It'd be so awesome. <laughs> it's a quest. All right. Uh, and so he's, he's going to shout. Uh, I don't even realize what's going on. He was like, he, he's like, hey, I, I, I'm, I'm not with this. I'm, these, they charm me. Don't tag me. That, and he stands off to the side, and I'm, I'm, I don't know what, I don't know even know who you people are. Like, I'm not with this. I'm not with them. Them peoples, I'm not with. Uh, so, Echo. Okay, we get it. And I'm just going to face palm him out of the way. <laughs> oh, he, he leapt off the side. He's like way over oh, here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to figuratively just be like, whatever. And can I still see her? Is she dropping down? Oh. She's not gone. I can oh, see yeah. her, right? Uh, this whole balcony and everything is collapsed down and she has fallen down. Not the awesome. princess, but Ayala. Or Ayala or the princess? The princess. Uh, I'm talking about the princess. She's oh, falling no, down in front of you. I don't even know if I know that Ayala is sliding to do. Oh, yeah. A lot of lightning. Oh, a lot I promise of lightning I that went care. I promise I care. I'm just not aware of it at the moment. There, there I was a lot of deeply deeply. Yeah. All okay. Right. Um. I don't. I well, uh, in that case, I would like to create a chromatic orb. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. And uh, it's going to deal fire damage. Oh. Because ice princesses probably don't like fire damage. Plus, my dog's going to freak out about it. <laughs> I all that was the orb, actually. See it. <laughs> and I'm just going to, like, smash it right in her face and rub it around. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that I yeah, can't really stop you there. <laughs> yeah, it's double double meaning there. It's it's fire damage because I believe that uh, that will probably hurt an ice princess extra, but also because for Ayala. All right, whoosh. Uh, yeah, uh, she is lying there in the rubble of her balcony, and you just slam dunk it on her. Bam. Uh, all right. That's great. Uh, would you like to do anything else this round? Uh, I would also like to take my bonus action and do a second win so I can get some hit points back. All right. Eirik. So this um, lady, does she look um, She, she looks she's down, down for the count? Yeah, she's down. Yeah. All right. Because um, I, am, I am a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't bring my hammer down, and I will... I will snap out of my rage. We, Echo and I, do not know about the Ayala situation, right? No, an awful lot of lightning flew around yeah. you all. There is a moop over here that is still, like, glistening with electricity. <laughs> a, I won't go near it. Which is not a word that I say often. <laughs> oh, does um does the lady, the, the not Valkyrie, does she have anything on her, like, weapon-like things? Because if she does, I will remove those from her possession. Uh, she had a wand that looked like it was made of ice, but it is now exploded. All right, fine. I will just back up. Uh, I will back up Echo. I will look intimidating. All right. Standing over this lady who's got fire in her face. Great. Uh, all right. You do notice... Uh, that maybe there are some other people around, but they, one person literally, well, you saw them for a split second. They vanished like in cloud of smoke. Um, and then the other person, they, they, they just ran. 
and and you're not really sure exactly where they went. They went into the building. They gone. Um, Ayala, you awaken on a cloud. Clearly, you're dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> You, you, you're just in a cloud. Like, huh, guess I'm... All right. This is, uh, this is it. This is Valhalla. I heard Irik talk about it. Hopefully it's as great as he says, because, man, I am not ready to be done questing. <laughs> uh, you, you are actually at two hit points. You, you, you do seem to have fallen into the cloud, and then the cloud shaped back up around you, uh, and then your feet are sticking up out of the cloud, and and Kazoo, you see her feet clearly like no movement, and then they wiggle just as you get over there. And you're like, oh no, and then oh god, okay, feet, wiggly feet. Um, I don't know if you're smothering or not. It's just you're you're covered in half mush marshmallow cloud sort of thing. <laughs> it's it's weird. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm gonna try to like you know flail my way out. <laughs> uh, you, you can yes. <laughs> like you eventually wiggle with the help of Kazoo. Uh, you get out uh, and up on top of the clouds and the snow. Um, all right. I, I well, flop onto the ground, just like huffing. <sighs> Kazoo is like hung on you like Velcro. <laughs> Kazoo, that, that was, that was that not was okay. One. That was not okay. You do not look okay. You're fine. You're going to be fine. It's fine. I, Everything's I'm just, fine. I'm just, gonna, um, I'm just, I'm just going to lay here for a minute. I'm just going to, you just, gonna, you just shh. Yeah. As you're laying there, and uh, Kazoo, as you're you're standing over Ayala, the half orc uh, has his battle axe, but he's not like he's not coming at you. He's he's just uh, he's 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 got it by his side in one hand, and he's like, I, "Hey, I hey!" Have some questions, some quick questions. Yeah, where where was the magic carpet during all of this? Uh, it's it's uh, right there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> just so off I would have. Uh, just to let you know, my plan, if she had fallen, was to hop on that magic carpet and swoop down and save her. Aww. Yes, that was going to happen. Aww. You're going to hijack the carpet. <laughs> yeah, I really was. Uh, and then the next thing I do. Wait, before we before we move on too far, uh, after that glorious battle, I would like to turn to Irik and do double high five plus headbutt. Yeah. And takes five <laughs> points of damage. And I'm going to fall off. I'm down. Five down. points. That's it. <laughs> and he's dead. Uh, oh. I will do everything I can to uh, make Ayala feel better. I know that and if we Kazoo, do. Kazoo. Hand, hand, me my, hand me my dragon fire whiskey. Oh, uh, here you go. Dragonfire with here you go. A big nice, nice little thing of dragonfire. You look a lot like me right now. This is this is how it's happening. You look exactly like okay, maybe if we switch places, that would be I would switch places with you. Aw. Aw, baby. The the Aww. half orc comes over to you and says, uh, I, I I mean you no harm. Uh wait, not <laughs> Nice hat. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, um, so I was I was charmed by that girl. Um, what what's the last thing I really remember was a fight uh, with some unknown assailants for my master, whose name is now Connor Bellman. <laughs> <laughs> I would have called him Connor because we were friends. Yeah, enough about this exposition. I don't care right this hot second. Do you have any means for healing my beloved friend? Uh, Is there anything in there? Did the, the, the little princess, did she have anything? Come on, come on, answers. Oh, I, uh, I, I can heal myself. She can heal herself. 
I, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was so I was so traumatized by being struck by lightning and nearly nearly falling to my death that I forgot. Cause you, I'm gonna be all right. Don't worry about it. Hey, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna cast you. cure. Uh, there's some kind of healing spell that I have. Hold on, I, I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> so I got the crazy eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, re relax. Uh, uh, look, I I just I just need to get back to Magecroft. He looks over the coffins actually and he's like oh no yeah Hello. yes mm, he looks back at the girl the princess mm. oh so you're a witness eh well there were hired assassins not very good but something else happened I was what? struck by magic that I could not uh -huh. stop. And uh -huh. the, she held me captive in a house for a, a while. Uh, and then, then I don't really don't remember much. I, I like helped her do stuff, but I'm all better now. Uh, say, uh, you know how to, you know how to, do you guys get? Do you guys know how to fly a castle? I'll figure it out. I'll try. <laughs> oh God. Okay. So no. <laughs> yes. Um, sure. Why not? Uh, Ayala is so smart, and she's dragonborn, and they know things. Yeah, and my hammer could probably figure it out too. For custom maintenance. I would just like to say that I learned my lesson from last week and I am searching the yellow princess's body. <laughs> <laughs> loot the body, loot the body. Uh, Is there the keys to the castle? <laughs> there, there's not. Yeah, well, she, had, <laughs> she had an ice wand that was destroyed. Uh, she does have a few other things. Um, a couple of rings, yeah. a couple of nice objects. Uh, she does have an entire really nice uh, as you guys actually go up to find stuff uh, in the little rooms there, uh, it bursts into flames. And that one other person that you saw earlier leapt out the backside of it and then uh, and then poofed off into the, through the cloud. Uh -oh. Wait, what's gone? The castle? Oh, uh, well, they he set, he set the main room on fire. Uh, and uh, as you guys are like, yeah, let's get that stuff. And uh, and that's when you're like, you, you feel like the cloud is starting to lose altitude. altitude. And, uh, what uh, was our description for that guy? Uh, he was wearing green. Kind of looked, uh, kind of looked like this. <laughs> there you go, that guy. Um, and you start losing altitude. You're pretty sure. Uh, and uh, Noctar's like, oh, guys, we might be in trouble. Um, I don't think this thing does crash landings well. Uh, do you, you guys have a way off this thing? We've got a carpet. We do indeed. Should we not try to steer the castle first, though? Like, are we, is it too late for that? Because the, flying carpet's cool. Flying castle, kind of better. He's like, we, we can give it a try. Um and what about the moops? <laughs> um, what about the moops? moops? We gotta save the moops. Moops float. Sky uh, moops. Sky moops. Did you just say they float? No. <laughs> Only a little bit. I mean, I guess the wool. I'm just thinking. Anyway. I'm so into this. This moop lore is like 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, as all right, so are you gonna try to go into the controls and uh, all right? Yeah. So I think so. Play. I think that's what good people would do. All right. Is try to not let the castle crush the village below. That's what good people would do. Crash Why are we doing it? Uh, <laughs> all right. So you guys rush into the burning room of the control panel, and Eric, you're in charge of putting out the fire. Yes, I am. And uh -huh. I think. That is where we're going to leave it tonight. Oh, come on! Ah. I did grab the carpet first because I know we need a backup. Yes. Uh, we're going to leave it there tonight while I consider 
exactly how you control flying castle. And- <laughs> 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 we were supposed to let it crash. Who's the bad guy now? Oh, uh, um, I, I'm the bad guy now. I'm the bad guy. That's exactly what you do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make some, uh, some little notes on like, cause the guy did like sabotage it. He like totally like blew up the stuff and was like, I'm out, y'all suckers. Uh, and uh, so yeah, so now I got to come away with like, how are they gonna fix it? How much is damaged? Blah blah blah. Anyway, that'll be next week. Well, besides, it's ten after ten. If this if this was Star Trek, just for the sake of argument, is the castle equivalent to a starship, and then the flying carpet is like a shuttlecraft that can come yeah, in? Absolutely. Now. Yeah. yeah. All uh, right. I, I just want to so know. I want to know. Deflect some uh, tri tricorder beams off the main deflector dish. The, and there's then... no tricorder beams. A tricorder is a scanning yeah. instrument. You... I believe that the uh, cam shaft is if you flam snagle the other uh, trooper. No, I got this. Good. All you have to do is reverse the polarization. Thank you. Make it Thank so. You. The mermaid knows. The mermaid knows. Jesus. Tap dance and Yoda. All right. Uh, Take it up as you go. All right. <laughs> Friends, that is Nat 21 Adventures for tonight. Uh, we would keep on going, but uh, Echo, uh, Echo has an early morning in... Uh, playing with the tadpoles and so that, that's basically it Priorities. Uh, yeah. so, squishy. so next week is the campaign finale so mm -hmm. what is going to happen in the meantime before we get there a couple of quick things remember coming up this saturday we have a murder at cloud haven chateau uh, it is the murder mystery event hosted by the New Jersey Renaissance Fair. Tickets at njrenfair.com box office. Three of us are in that palo. Eric and myself, we are all in that show. Um, and then for New Year's Eve, we have Shakespeare's New Year's Shaken Eve. It is a fantastic, uh, wonderful Zoom party concert event starring Paolo Gobonzo as himself. Uh, it is going to be a great and glorious time. Um, also... I have to say this because it is one of the final two times I get to say this in 2020, and I never thought I'd actually miss anything about 2020. But <laughs> here we go. Next time on Nat 21 Adventures, will Kazoo finally confess her love for Ayala? Will Farfig Newton let Irik know that... He is possessed by a squirrel. Wow. Will Paolo roll anything well? <laughs> Will Echo discover that she has a tail and can swim really, really well? Also, Dingle Hoppers, surprisingly good butt scratches. <laughs> Will Ayala confess her love for alcohol? <laughs> Every day. Will Shakespeare finish this drink out of this glass made by Madame Onsa, which you can get at Madame Onsa Studios on Etsy? I promised her I would do it every single time I was on camera. <laughs> Tune in next time. Same Nat time, same Nat channel. Nat 21 Adventures. Because when a natural 20 just won't do, you need a Nat 21. 21. Good night, everybody. Good night, Seattle. Stay classy, San Diego.